All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is the Watson the Garage. If you guys haven't, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate that. And send those comments coming. I really like uh, answering you guys' questions. But anyways, this is the day after uh, Part 7. Part 7 is when I got Dustin's Blast in. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Uh, it's a pretty cool process. Uh, but this is the uh, after it was blasted. So uh, if you guys in Central Texas need anything like this done, uh, give them guys a, uh, a phone call. I'm sh those guys are awesome. But anyways, um, I had a 72-hour window to get this done. Uh, so what I did, I just pretty much prepped my shop. I wrapped plastic all around it. I have two doors on both sides. And I have a big exhaust vent up there on the top right. You can barely see it. Um, and so I closed that big door, and I just kind of made like a flow going through it. Uh, but this is something I've always wanted to done since I was a little kid. My dad was like that old school body man out there. You know, he could fix pretty much anything. Uh, so it was always a, uh, a bucket list to get with my dad and actually paint my truck. Uh, I know this ain't the uh, overall or the, the, the last paint job on the truck, but it was really cool to get this done. Uh, my dad definitely helped me out on this, showed me some tricks of the trade. Uh, it was really, really cool. Uh, I think it turned out really, really good. You can you can see here these are the uh, after pictures of it. Um, I mean, it, it's one of those things where I was kind of scared doing it um, at first, but once I got the hang of it, once my dad kind of helped me, kind of shoot it, uh, work the angles, uh, the the spray gun could shoot narrow and wide, and where to shoot and how to shoot. The bottom was definitely the uh, the hardest part because there were so many dang angles involved with that. Uh, but it was a good learning experience to get all my techniques down uh, before I actually started to spray um, the uh, the body, the outside body. Uh, so if I messed up, it wasn't that big of a deal because it's underneath the truck. And honestly, this whole truck is going to get repainted again. Uh, this is just a sealer portion, so it, it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, but no, um, it's really really cool. I hope you guys do uh, enjoy this process. If you stay with the uh, the video, you're actually going to see me to um, actually spray this whole truck in fast time. Uh, but uh, if you guys have any questions, you just keep them going. And as always, please like and subscribe to my channel if you can. Bye, uh, guys. You appreciate it.
Oh, there she is. <laughs> Spot, let me know. <laughs> Do what? This and this, I'm not, uh, I'm replacing this whole side, so I don't I don't need to paint that. So if you're wondering why, um, I got the whole top in here because this whole corner is being replaced. And on there, all the the battery tray up there is getting replaced, and this little rail is getting replaced. So uh, we were cut down to the wire on paint. Uh, Really, really low, but here, that is it. That's it, looking better every day. <laughs>